Welcome in, everyone. I'm Liminal Shift, and it's getting toward the middle of October, so we're neck deep in the spooky season, people. So, it's time to get scared, because today, we're opening up this collection box, brand new release, with everybody's favorite death dog, Houndstone. Now, uh, you know, sometimes you can judge a book by its cover, and sometimes you can't. I mean, he is a good boy, right? He's not uh, He's not meaning to be bad, but uh, let's just say if you play around with him too long, you might start to feel a little bit tired. Then you might start to feel a little bit, I don't know, like falling asleep. And then you never wake up again. Because this dog, if you play with him or stay around him long enough, he will start sucking and feeding off your life force until you are, well... In the grave. So, uh, you know, maybe notice the tombstone coming out of its head. Maybe notice the skull face. And maybe go go hug your Pikachu right now, because it's not going to kill you. So, uh, in addition to the Houndstone EX collection box, we do have a couple of other very spooky guests. Not really, it's just Gardevoir. Gardevoir. But uh, I will say the last time we saw her, at least in an alt art... She was, uh, you know, maybe dancing very spookily in the in the woods at night. Then again, she was probably singing lullabies to the sleeping Pokemon around her. I'm not going to say that's spooky. It's actually pretty cool. Nice card. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and uh, rip into these two tins, get the packs out, and we'll go from there. If I have <laughs> the strength to beat a thin layer of plastic... All right, I'm not going to bother taking out the uh, promos. Just show you here real quick. Got a nice Gardevoir there. Mid attack. But she's looking like uh, she's confident and elegant about it. So somebody is about to go down. These have three packs in them. Looks like we get Lost Origin, Darkness Ablaze, and Rebel Clash. So we're firmly in the Sword and Shield era with these. Unfortunately, no Evolving Skies. And I will take care of that promo a little later. Let's put it over here. Let's go ahead and get these packs out as well. Same promo there. And we're going to set these three packs. Oh, it looks like we got slightly different. Instead of Darkness of Blaze, we have Sword and Shield Base. Which is good, because uh, I need more Sword and Shield Base than, than I do Darkness of Blaze, for sure. <laughs> if you don't know, uh, do not rip Darkness of Blaze. It is much cheaper. Much, much, much cheaper to just buy the whole set of singles. All right, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start with Rubble Clash here. After we get through these six packs, we'll uh, dive into the Houndstone box. Oh, and got to remember Sword and Shield. Don't show the code card because it has, has spoilers. <laughs> At least most of them do. Fire. Palpitoad. Capture Energy. Chatot. Wingle, whole flock of Wingles, Phantom, yeah, there, he's there for a spooky season, Bronzor, Toxel, Applin, Galarian Daramaka is our reverse, and we do get a hit with a Cinderace V, everybody's favorite soccer bunny player, about to score a goal. I wouldn't want to be a goalie with a, a fireball coming at me. A literal fireball. <laughs> so pretty good. Uh, got a hit on our first pack. Probably going to be the only hit of this 10. Uh, in Sword and Shield era, hollows count as hits. And you're, especially in the early Sword and Shield era, before they started releasing sets with the trainer galleries, you're normally expecting one hit in every four packs, and that one hit could just be a hollow, so. 
I'm going to put a reverse there. Sleeve it up a little later. Got Leaf Energy. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. They've seen some things. <laughs> Fletchender. Hiding Energy. That's what the Pokemon Breeders have when it's mating season. Hiding Energy. <laughs> you don't want to see the ditto. <laughs> All right. Panseer. More lol. Ooh, spooky shroom out in the forest. Wishy washy. The most crybabiest of the crybabies. Q font. Staravia reverse. And my boy Mimikyu coming out for Halloween. Don't mess with the Mimi. Especially when he's got his eyes going like that. He's uh he's not in the mood. A little temperamental, that guy, sometimes. Last pack of the first 10, we have Lost Origin. This one, uh, this set's a little later in the Sword and Shield era. A little, little kinder on the hit ratio. Still, Silcoon, Lady, Another ghost type for Halloween with Lampant. Ghost in Fire, right? I think. Rock Rough. That's that's not very scary. <laughs> just just one little leaf. He's having a fun time there. Seal. Woo! More Halloween spookiness. With a Shuppet. Giving you the raspberry in front of a full moon. That, that sounds kind of wrong. <laughs> Machop. Aww. Petcha berry eating Pikachu. Reverse Electrike. And Greedent. So no hitting there for us. Unless you count the Pikachu, I guess. <laughs> So let's uh, go to our second 10 with these three packs. We'll uh, do them in release order, starting with Sword and Shield Base. Would love to see that Snorlax VMAX come out. Four to the front. And we're starting off with water. Doug Trio. Whoo, look at that Salazzle card. Look at that art. I think, I don't know, Salazzle's just like, I think Salazzle's on TikTok <laughs> doing a dance. Must, uh, must be pretty viral to reach out there. She's getting it. Dang. Go Salazzle. B sharp or B sharp, I guess. Uh, Scylla Cobra. Score Bunny. Man, so fast. Setting the ground on fire. Now that's a that's a soccer player right there. Always bringing the fire. Cottony. Bringing the fire to the field, literally. <laughs> Galarian Ponyta. Little cotton candy pony. Minchino. Reverse potion. And nine tails. Non hollow. Moving on to Rebel Clash. Water Energy, Metacham, Morgrim, a little Halloween spookness, spookiness there, Palpitoad, doing something, <laughs> Wingull, Phantom, Bronzor, Toxel, Applin, it's October, man. That's a that's got to be a poison apple. 
Burning Scarf, and a regular Hollow Appleton. Better hide before Thanksgiving comes around, man. <laughs> Next month ain't your month. All right. Got Lost Origin here. Last pack of the tins. Then we'll dip into our Houndstone EX collection box. Fighting Energy. Chorus's Experiment. Porygon 2. Swana, Rock Rough, Seal, Machop, Shuppet, Pikachu, and there's a Charizard Trainer Gallery. This is one of the nicer Trainer Gallery hits in the set. Buddy's goofing around on the couch. And Dugong, bringing up the back. All right, so out of uh, three packs, got two nice hits. I'm not going to count the hollow, even though it is technically a hit. <laughs> but we got a, a Cinderace V and a Trainer Gallery Charizard. Not bad, not bad. All right, so let's uh, open up this bad boy, see what we get. He's a ghost dog, but he makes ghosts. So I'm just going to call him the death dog, and I'm going to keep calling him that. Because, you know, truth in advertising. All right. Uh, we get one full promo card with Helmstone, one full card with Grieverd, the, the death puppy, <laughs> uh, a jumbo card with Helmstone EX, four packs, and a code card. All right. All right, I'm not going to take out the promos. I think y'all can see them pretty fun, even in, still in the plastic. I'll take them out a little later when I can uh, give them the proper care they need to get out of there without uh, damaging them. But we do have a Hellstone EX and a Grievered with a Cosmo foil on it. All right. Put that to the side. We got a Jumbo card coming up, so let me get out... Jumbo binder with a few empty slots in here. Go ahead and slip that right on in. All right, come on now. There we go. I think jumbo cards are going to have their day one day when uh, that market just blows up and everybody's going jumbo. I know right, uh, so far everybody's kind of, I mean, not ignoring them, but it's not really anyone's priority, it seems. But I do like the Jumbos myself, so I'm going to keep collecting those. Try to get all of them. I know there's a lot of mist already, so I need to go to some trade shows or uh, collect the cons or whatever and pick up a lot of Jumbos I don't have. All right, we got uh, Twilight Masquerade. Stellar Crown came after that, so Okay. Two Twilight Masquerade, two Stellar Crown. We'll start out with the Twilight Masquerade. Which uh, definitely sounds like more of a Halloween set than Stellar Crown. Don't worry, the code cards mean nothing in Scarlet Violet. Uh, oh yeah, and I don't have to... Uh, there's no pack trick, so we'll just go straight in. Illamese, good for those dark Halloween nights. Poison Apple. You can't really make nose pass scary, unless it's like on Easter Island at night, I guess. Now, that'd be pretty spooky, right? Seeking. Darmanitan. Carmine. Swana. Puccina. Reverse, Daramaka Reverse, and Infernape Hollow.
Mix Twilight Masquerade. Well, by now you should have your Halloween uh, costumes picked out. If you don't, <laughs> I hope the shelves aren't bare uh, when you go to look for it. It's, uh, it's getting there, right? So hopefully you have your costume and candy ready to go. Chansey, Draycloak, Poliwhirl, Kilowattrel, which I'm going to say is spooky just because it has kill in the name. Yeah, I know it's... Okay, Kilowatt. Yeah, I get, I get it. <laughs> Sand Slash, Lucian, Liminal Shift, where we're not afraid to make a stretch. A lot of... Ooh... Poison apples are now coming in candy flavor. Nice. Diplin. <laughs> Lampant. And Frostlass. Which is just a hollow, but, you know, it's October. I'll take any ghost types right now. Putting us all in the spirit, right? Ooh, a little, little spooky psychic energy. Yeah. All right. Two packs of Stellar Crown. And let's go with... Uh, Let's go with Cinderace first. See if he can bring the fire. Choodle. Wooloo. Oh, like that art. That's a happy Wooloo. Finneon. Poison apples. Apparently do grow on trees. Lacey. She's uh she's up to something. I'm scared of her. Reminds me of some indie horror games. Marowak. Ossaberry. Mian Fu. Lacey Reverse. And serial killer vibes left and right, right? And a Buffalant Hollow behind the murderer. Oh, and we get a, a kind of a, a fake hollow. <laughs> it's, it's like they have these patterns in the back that look like they should be like textured and uh, would look good on a hollow card, but it's very obviously not. So. Eh. All right, last pack magic. And if anybody's going to bring us anything out of this box, it's going to be Lapras, right? We haven't gotten any hits at all from our first three packs. So Lapras literally is our last chance to get something from this scary, spooky box. I think the Death Dog may have killed all these packs, but we'll find out. Maybe there's something here. It is the Tertinator. Come with me if you want to get the candy. Toad School. He knows all the good houses in the neighborhood. Milsery. Merrill. Payapa Berry. Tornadus. Kofu. Reverse Celebi. Reverse Frogadier. Last chance, Lapras. Bring us something. Oh, nice. We definitely get a nice hit here with a Cinderace EX Terrestrialized Full Art. That is uh, that is actually a pretty nice hit in the set. Um, it's 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 not, you know, triple digits or anything, but it's up there. It's a card I really like. I like Cinderace. Very colorful, colorful here. Um I normally have a problem with the crowns, but in this case, it's not really, not really taking over the card, right? Cinderace is pretty tall, so he he makes up for it there. And just a beautiful card. I love the colorful border that they have on these. Um, I'm not going to call this a rainbow card because it's just not. But if if I would compare anything in Scarlet and Violet to a rainbow, it would be these, just because they're so colorful, right? So really cool, at least getting one hit out of that Helmstone EX box. And yep, just the uh, psychic energy behind that. So thank you, Cinderace, for saving uh, saving Halloween, I guess. 
That is the only hint, literally, that we got out of that uh, Houndstone EX box. And you know, out of four packs, I will take one of these any day of the week. That's pretty good. So, all right, uh, that's it for today. Uh, we're going to have some more One Piece or some One Piece uh, later on this week, as well as Pokemon. And uh, let me know down in the comments. I do have uh, three sets of the booster packs, the, the trick or trade bags. Uh, one from uh, each of the last three years. I haven't opened up any of those. I know you can basically complete the set uh, in each bag that you open. So if y'all would like uh, me to go through those trick or trade booster bundle uh, bags for the last three years, let me know down in the comments and, uh, you know, I'll make that happen before Halloween. Uh, anyway, hope you are getting ready for, uh, for the season. Candy, costumes, I don't know, fun. Go watch some scary movies. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is in the theater still. Uh, there's plenty of places to check out the Beetlejuice animated complete series from the 80s uh, for free. Uh, so, you know, if you like cartoons and you want a little spooky fun, check that out. It's a uh, very lighthearted, a lot of puns. I, I will say that. Um, and until next time, I'm Liminal Shift. <laughs>